Okay, this lesson is about adding a baseline and then doing a distance check. So if you want to add in an indicator, you want the trade to be above one. If it's above one ATR, you don't want to take the trade. So let's get started here. So let's go ahead and load a new project. I mean, not load a new project, import a project. So this is how we can do this. Let me get this squared up first just started for the day so just want to get everything right so we've got metatrader we have these files and then so what we want is what we want is we want to bring back the to indicate a test one. So here, this is what we got it. And we're going to rename. So we're going to take um, C1, C2, we click into the box here to rename it and then baseline. OK, so in terms of a baseline, what we want to do is we want to that one hasn't been integrated yet. So we choose the file indicators. And let's choose the old Kijun Sen. We click it or click OK. And then we update. And there we go. We have ourselves a Kijun Sen. All right. So. What we want is we want a Kijun buy. So we, what we what this means is that we want to make sure that the price is above the baseline. So what we do, we do the candle, candle close, we right click, remember C period, and that we want it to be bigger than a custom indicator. And we go down Kijun Sen. And then, so what other ones we have here is, yeah, Kijun period. So what we do here, we click into the constants, add a new one. So, okay, P, 26, we just do it, uh, okay, period. We update, done, we exit out of it, right click, KP, more settings. And then we make sure we right click and get the old C period one. And the buffer we want is here. So let's add on the old Kijun Sen here. Yep. So we have the buffer. Notice that the color changes. And the one that stays constant is this one. So this is buffer zero. All right, so that's where we have the buy condition. So we go ahead and update. So right now we have two indicators, but let's say for the for the simplicity of it, let's just right now get rid of the ash and put it over there. So this is what we can just call it. KS. Okay, so we go here. And then go here and then we make sure that we can we can run it so we go ahead and export it to mt4 experts all right we press f4 get it compiled in the code editor so here we go experts on the other screen here so we f7 it compiles, so everything is good. And so here we go. We do the old, uh, there we go. This one, A U to N Z D, and we just start. Well, that's a little funny. Let's see what's going on here.
that's not going to be very good for the old account balance, that's for sure. So, so let's try that again. Let's just disconnect all these blocks and just do buy side only. So I've gone and done and recompiled it. I had it open. So let's try again. Okay. So that cell block was giving us a whole bunch of grief. All right. Let's skip to the end and see how it is. So we have the QQE. So in this case, we have the rules that's working correctly. We have the QQE that's crossing upwards, which would have been a buy, but it's not a buy because we have the, we don't have, because the price is below the Kijun Sen. So here, this is the same, as you can see. What we want to avoid though is some of these trades. So as you can see here, these ones are uh, way above the Kijun Sen. So the next rule that we're gonna implement here is to do a distance and to make sure. So right now the results, graph, report, slight win. So it seems like if you just do a QQE, a Kijun Sen system and you get the settings right, looks like you can make some bank. But we carry on with the tutorial. So this part, we do the distance. So this is where we do the distance check. So we click into this check distance, upper level. So we want to do the candle. And there we want candle close, candle ID, remember, C period one. And then we want indicators. We want Kijun Sen. Let's make sure we assign, the, assign it, or else if we don't assign it, we're going to have a rough time. More settings, candle ID, C period, and then greater than, so the pips, this is where, because we had the ATR, remember we set the ATR, the TP, so one ATR is, uh, one ATR is the TP value. So this is where we go right click the pips and we go TP. And this is how we assign it. We click update and close. And what we do is, and that, that one's done. So where we do the block is, we wanna set the ATR first. Then we do the final check. So here it goes in a sequence. So the first thing is QQE buy, yes. Above Kijun Sen, yes. Then we set the TP and SL variables based on ATR. Then we check whether price is beyond or within one ATR. If it is, we buy. All right, and then we just go and do that. We just go to the MQL4 editor. I have that one open on the other window. Compile, looks good. And then we can just Go ahead and so remember we have 576 and how many trades? We have 121 trades. So let's go. So somehow it did manage to filter out some trades. So 88 trades and there we go. So the high of the price was within the cell, cell line ATR. Yep. And then here. We need to somehow I think this might be slightly off here because we have this We did filter out some trades, but it seems like we didn't really filter out too much. So 
let us double check this. So how many pips is this? Yeah, that's a lot of pips. So yeah, so let's go back to here. Ah, so what we did here, I did a little mistake here. So what we're supposed to do is to do lower or equal to. So crisis averted. So we go ahead and click update. Click there, override this one. Yep, override it. Press OK. Compile on the other side. And let's try again. But somehow, if you say it above ATR, it seemed like it wanted to get more profit if it was above ATR. So that one was a little funny. There we go. So as you can see, this part is where it just takes the trades that are within one ATR of baseline. And somehow we end up with a loss here, which is strange. But I'll let, let you interpret that for yourself. So, so there we are. This is how you do um, baseline and a distance with ATR check. All right. Thank you.